find out about the history of top K-pop artists and groups. And learn more about their hit songs and the stories related to them. So get ready for a wonderful music journey with me, Lim. And me, Tasha, on Born to Rock the Mic. Hi, Tasha. Hey, Lim. Can you believe that year 2013 will be over in just a month? Oh, I know. I mean, it's already December. Time flies so fast, huh? Too fast. Mm -hmm. Well, many things happened in the K-pop industry this year, right? What do you remember the most? Well, for me, I'd have to say that the veteran artist is making a comeback. Mm -hmm. Like the king of K-music, Cho yong pyo the king of ballet music, Shin sung hoon well, the god of vocalization, Lee sung Tol, and also the hot issue maker, Lee hyo -ri. They all made a comeback this year and added more diversity to the music scene. What about you, Lim? I'd have to say the singers whose album tracks lined up the charts, mm -hmm. ranking in the top 10 like G-Dragon, IU, Busker Busker, yes. and many others achieved this feat with their albums. Right, and of course, we can't forget the fact that many K-pop artists and singers are promoting Korea with their music. It seems like K-pop music is dominating the world. Very true. Mm -hmm. K-pop is not only popular in Asia, but it's also gaining a lot of popularity in the US and Europe as well. And I'm so proud of all the K-pop singers, and I'd like to say good job, guys. Today on Bon to Rock the Mic, we'll focus on a global idol group who is receiving a lot of love all around the world, right? That's right. This group was very ambitious right from the beginning, with their group name showing their desire to become a truly international group. Can you guess who it is? Well, let's find out. We'll be focusing on none other than ubiquitous Korean international idol superstar, Yu Kiss, comprised of vocalist Soohyun, Hoon, Kevin, and Kees Hop, and rappers Eli and AJ. Well, they recently returned to the K-pop scene with the new album, Moments, and are showing a different side of themselves through their title track, She's Mine. They've made quite a transformation singing a hip-hop R&B song that sounds different from their previous songs. It has a soft hip-hop sound and a powerful choreography that is very impressive. But I'm sure some of their fans were disappointed that they returned as a six-member group without Tong Tonghu. Right, um, actually Donghu wanted to take a break from the entertainment scene. So, you know, his members accepted his decision, so he's now currently enjoying himself playing baseball. Well, I wish him great health and happiness. Yes, me too. It's too bad that he's no longer part of the group, but I'm sure he'll be cheering for his former members, bandmates on the side. And guess what? Did you know that it's already been five years since you kiss made their debut? Yes, I know. They celebrated their fifth anniversary in September this year. So congratulations, you kiss. I wish you more success in the future. Yukis engaged in various activities for the past five years, both in Korea and overseas. So now let's take a look at their previous album, starting with their first one. Well, Yukis entered the K-pop industry with their debut single album, New Generation, in September 2008. They introduced hip-hop music in Dirty South South for the first time in Korea with the title track, Not Young. This song was about a guy sending a message out to parents and other people who treated him like a kid. Right, well, many teens found this song relatable. And remember, this was five years ago, so the UK's members were all back in their teens. Right. Tong Wu, who was the youngest member at the time, was only 14 years old. And he drew everyone's attention with his cute looks and reggae hairstyle. Right, and I heard that you'll be singing this song for us, and I can totally picture you singing this song. Really? Thank you. Yes, it totally suited you. Thank you. Well, you know how many idol groups these days have members with foreign citizenship? Back then, this wasn't very common, and that's why you kiss garnered a lot of attention. Right, former member Alexander was from Hong Kong, and Eli and Kevin were from America. They can speak English freely, and that allowed them to communicate with fans all around the world. Right. Yukis drew everyone's attention at home and abroad right from the beginning and they were named the best newcomer in Asia at the 2008 Asia Song Festival. 
UK has returned with the song Am I That Easy from their third mini album. It was composed, written and produced by the hitmaker Brave Brothers. It received an explosive response from the audience. That's right. And this was when member Keysop joined the group and UK embarked on a new beginning as a seven-member group. They underwent a total transformation, turning from cute young boys into strong manly guys. I think this marks the turning point in their career as well as their concepts. I agree. They shed off their cute and young image and began showing their intense masculine side. And this was well received by the K-pop fans, shown by the fact that their next album produced two hits. Their election and K-pop songs, Round and Round and What, became consecutive hits. They both had catchy chorus and that was very addictive. Right, and this was when member Tomo appeared on a variety show called Invincible Baseball Team and became a household name. This also helped Yukis gain more fame and popularity. That's right, Yukis gradually gained fame and popularity by performing on stage and appearing on variety shows. And they received a great response when they showed their rough and tough side for the song Be Quiet. Well, did you know that there's a special story related to this song? Oh, what is it? Well, it wasn't rated 19 plus at first, but it was re-rated 19 plus afterwards. So the only way to view it was to confirm your birth age. Well, in the music video, Yuki's members were topless and they were up close and personal with female guest stars. But it wasn't that racy or anything, but the fans overseas got jealous and reported that this music video had explicit content. So it was re-rated as 19 plus. And that's what the leader Suhyun said. Mm. Well, I guess some other idol groups can learn from this. They shouldn't make music videos that make fans jealous. Anyways, Yuki's underwent another transformation for their fifth mini album. They had a member change and reinvented themselves. Alexander and Kim Bam left the group and were replaced by AJ and Hoon. Right, and AJ was a member of a group called Paran before this. The CEO of his agency thought he was super talented and didn't want to see it go to waste. So he recommended that he resume his music activities as a member of UKIS. Right, and Hoon had released an album as a solo artist. He released a song called Bus under his real name, Ya Hoon Min and was in the spotlight for his excellent singing skills. Yukis was born anew with these two new talented members and they returned with a sad hip-hop song, O330. They showed their gentlemanly qualities and caught everybody's eyes. In the song, the piano melody was reminiscent of the sound of raindrops and the song itself was about a rainy day, which makes this song the perfect song to listen to when it's raining. I have to agree. Also, after recruiting the two new members, Yukis began their activities in Japan. And they didn't just promote their album, they even had a nationwide tour that concluded with great success. They gained a huge fan base in Japan with every album ranking in top of the Oricon chart. And Yukis also began receiving a lot of love not only in Asia but in South America as well. Right, Yukis released their sixth album Dora Dora in 2012 and they were invited to perform at the largest pop festival in South America that was held in Colombia. They captivated more than 50,000 people in the audience and received an explosive response. Well, this eventually led to the official fan club of Yukis being established in South America. They became highly sought after in South America and even held concerts in Peru, Colombia and Mexico. After captivating the passionate people of Latin America, Yukis returned to the K-pop scene with their seventh mini-album and surprised everyone with a new concept for Stop Girl. They put their heart and soul into this song, which took more than three months to produce. This song had a lyrical melody and the members presented a fantastic dance routine with female partners to delight the audience's eyes and ears. Remember how You Kiss is an international group? Well, they released, this, they released the song in English version as well, which I'm sure made their English-speaking fans very happy. And I heard that you'll be showing us the dance move for the song. Yes, I will, and I hope you enjoy it. Yes, let's see it. Hey, hey. Stop, girl, in the name of love. Stop, da, 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 girl, in the name of love. Lovely as usual, and I love the choreography. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'll look forward to next week and.
great. the other weeks as well. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, after undergoing ceaseless transformation, u k i s has done it again with their hip-hop song with a hint of R&B sound called She's Mine. They turned into true gentlemen saying that they'll protect their lady from other guys. And I wish someone would say, don't touch her, she's mine for me too. Me too. Anyways, u k i s has been showing their growth and maturity as musicians. As time passed, and I'm sure they'll keep soaring to the top. Right, they're definitely soaring to the top all over the world, including Japan, where they'll be holding concerts at the end of this year. And I wish them best of luck. y u k i s has been promoting K-pop music worldwide for the past five years, and I hope they continue to receive a lot of love at home and abroad for many years to come. Now, let's show our support by sh- playing one of their music videos, shall we? Okay, let's play u k i s s She's Mine, about a guy who tells all the other guys to back off his girl. So, here, here we go. go. Hey, 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 hey,